Hello, my Animal Crossing family. Welcome to another day at work. You see cute Nico standing there. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started and see who we have to design for today. Okay, so let's head on over to... Oh, wait, Leaf is here. Hey, Leaf. Okay, oh, he wants to talk to me about flowers in the school, but he can't find the school. Okay, well, I can help you with that, sir. Yes, come on, Leaf, let's get it. Okay, so we're in our cute little school and he's touch teaching us about flowers. Why you gotta call me out, Lee? Okay, so he's gonna teach us about hybridization. So, we can use hybrid flowers in our bills. Okay, so if we plant white, a white tulip next to a red tulip, what color would we get? We would get pink tulips. Oh, and you can get red or white tulips that way as well. Okay, nice. And we're going here will be, now be able to decorate with hybrid flowers in any yard they want. Thanks, cool. That's awesome. All right, Leaf. Thank you kindly, sir. Okay. Alrighty, that's it. That concludes our lesson on flowers. Okay, thank you. Oh, now he's saying you can use fruit, trees, or veggies. You've grown. And the lesson is now over. Okay, thanks, Leaf. Yes, I can use hybrid flowers now. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on inside and talk to Lottie so that we can get to working. Good morning. Okay, so I'm gonna run over and talk to her so I can get my clothes on. And I do wanna let you guys know, I did design Petrie's house before I designed the school build, but my file got corrupted. So I wasn't able to sh share that build with you when I did it. But we're gonna run over to her house really quickly so that you guys can see what I did. So we'll go run and talk to Nico and then we'll tell him we want to visit a home and then we'll choose Petrie's house. Okay. So it was a tea time terrace. So we'll go visit her. All right. And so this is what I did for Petrie's house on the outside. And she's out here, oh, she's out enjoying her flowers and whatnot. Nice, I love it. Okay, so let's head on inside. And then you can see what I did on the inside of her house as well. So I tried to match her color pattern with her hair and her ears and stuff. So there's a lot of red, yellow, and blue in her house. But this is what I came up with for Petrie. I gave her her little desk and chair so if she wants to work she can but she can also sit back and relax so yeah that was that but now we're gonna head on back over to the beach so we can pick somebody else to design for today all right so we headed back and we are back now so let's see he wants to talk sound of a clock you can't sleep without that. I can't sleep with the TikTok sounds of a clock. He wants somewhere to share his favorite picture books. He's cute. I might choose him. Okay, she wants to hum and strum on her guitar. She wants to gym for a ver variety of workouts. She gonna need a lot of space. Okay, so she wants European elegance. All right. Okay, so I think we're gonna actually go with Doc. So we're gonna do him where he can share his picture books. Plus I think he's adorable. Yeah, all right, yes. Doc, of course I can help you out, leave it all to me. All right, let's go get started. He's so excited, he's clapping. Go well, one hand, because he was holding his book with the other. Okay. So he wants a vacation home, a children's library. Okay. All right, Doc, we can work with that. His name is Doc, and he wants a children's library. I would think he would want like a hospital or something with the name Doc. But no, 
but we'll give him what he wants. So I want to have find him like a nice space without water. If it's a children's library, that means children will be coming over. I really do be putting too much thought into this, I think. But we're going to pick him a place where there's no water or nothing too dangerous. That's kind of has a lot of space. So we pick this one. This is like in the middle of nowhere. There's no water close by. So he can keep those little kiddos safe when they come to his little library. Okay. All right, Doc. Awesome. Let's go. Let's head on over to your build site. Here we are. I hope you like it. Oh, yes, it is going to be so fun, Doc. I like your little dance you're doing. Oh, it's time for a snack break anyway. Okay, he must be a lazy because he's talking about food. All right, so let's get started on designing Doc's children's library. All right, so they're telling me I can use hybrid flowers, which is awesome. So I'm just going through. Let's start with some trees. I didn't mean to give him that color tree. I mean, the, the tree with the lights on it. Okay, I'm trying to get this the right size. Okay, and then we're going to take that down and we're going to put this one and one of those. Okay. And then let's give them some bushes. We'll give them these because they kind of the same color as him looks like. And some hybrid flowers. Oh no, not hybrid flowers. We're going to give them some some pretty color flowers. So he's says yes to those. What do you give him some eye hybrid flower? I think. No. No, we didn't. I thought we did. But we didn't. <laughs> okay, so those are just orange and blue, I think is the color. So we're going to change his house. I'm going to have to move some of this stuff because I need some more space because I want to make his house bigger. And I think that this style house is kind of look reminds me of like a nursery or a library or something so we're gonna go with this house and then we'll give him a do we have a darker blue door okay and let's give him something on his front door so let's change that to white okay all right I think that looks good and then oh I forgot to do fencing okay so we're going to do some fencing, but I'm going to have to move all of this stuff up. So give me a second. Let me do that. Okay. Because I need space to put his, I was about to say put his trees down to put his fencing down. But I want to, there we go. Okay, so we'll put this fencing down. I did customize it and make it blue. Okay, I have to move that tree. Just take this fencing around the whole yard because he's gonna have kids here and we don't want them getting out of the fencing so okay and then I need to move this stuff up so that I can put fencing back here bushes back there we go all right and then let's see what else can we put in here also we're still doing our fencing so we're taking it all the way around on both sides okay I don't feel like moving those trees again, so they'll just stay there. All right, so no, I think I want to do those little kitty wooden block bench is out front for the kiddos to sit on when they're outside. Let's see, what else can we put out here? do be liking that tree's bounty. It, why do you have to have so much space? I wish I could put like bushes of flowers or something, but you can't. It's just so much space in between the item and those and that fencing. It's weird. It's 
very weird. I don't like it. Okay. But then you can get these benches closer. It just seems strange to me, but whatever. Whatever floats their boat, I guess. Okay, so we'll do this. And that is so off center. I should have moved his house or something. Because I'm trying to figure out what to do with this right here because it was so, it's so off center. But anyway, we'll just keep going. It's just a game, Tiffany. Tell yourself it's just a game. So we'll give them a leaf pile. And what else can we put out here in his yard? I just be spending way too much time thinking, contemplating what would be good for them. Like they're really going to be using this stuff. <laughs> We're going to put this little library, give them some little libraries. Let's see, I'll put that right there instead. And then I think I'm going to do some strapped books or some kind of scrap, some strap books, scrap book, scrap books. Okay, so can I not put something on there? Okay, well, I'm going to have to change that because I need to be able to put something on top of those benches. So why you can't put them on that bench? I'm so confused by that. But anyway, whatever. Okay. So let's put these scrapbooks on the bench. And then I want to try all of the colors. Okay. Next color is white, blue, pink, green. Oh, I got one more I didn't use. Okay, well, maybe we'll use that inside or something. Oh, no, I'll just put two more stools here and that way we can have that one okay this top-down view is um, it's so strange to me sometimes because it's like when I'm designing it's fine but anyway I'm going back outside I have to fix that trees bounty thing it's really bothering me <laughs> it's really bothering me so what I'm going to do is put one more I'm gonna take this fence away and then I'll put the trees bounty contract. No, I'm not gonna put the trees bounty contraption thing back because it's just too off center. Okay, so we're in the house now. He wants this bookshelf, this pop up book, and this chair to be incorporated into the build in here. So I'm just trying to find the perfect wallpaper and flooring for this build. for Doc. Okay, so let's put a few items in here and then we'll start setting everything up. So I'm going to use these bookshelves as kind of like dividers. He has a lot of bookshelves in here. We'll give him a bed over here and let's give him a rug. Okay, that fits in there nicely. We'll change these chairs to blue and give him several chairs for the kids to sit and listen to him read or read to themselves. Okay, and then let's see what else. Well, let's put this little seat thing down. Patchwork sofa chair. And we'll change the design to nursery because this is a library for little kids. And let's change this to blue as well and move that back. Put this little pop-up book. So can you open this book? It seems like you should be able to open this book, but we'll just put this little pop-up book and then we'll do his bed. And then I'm going to change this wallpaper real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this though. I don't know what wallpaper I'm end up using because I might change it at the last minute because I am known to do that if I don't like it. So I'm just trying to find the perfect print. And it's killing me because it's taking forever. I have to hurry. 
Okay, we'll just go up this blue. And then we will extend the bookcases over across. Oh, you know what? Now I have a window. I don't know how I feel about that. Because now I have a window and it's blocking the window. But we're going to use these partitions to kind of separate his bedroom off. Would you use the medium one and the small one? I think it's medium size. Oh, I hate to see the large one. Anyway, to separate his little living space, I guess you could say, or his bedroom. Okay, so we'll give him this horizontal organizer. And then, let's see, we'll put a rug on this side as well. And then we're gonna put some more books, bookcases. because it's a library after all. So, need a lot of books. And then we'll do this little magazine organizer in the center. And then we'll give him this bookshelf and we'll customize it with all these bright colors. Okay, and then what else can we put in here? That will be nice for little kids to have. So we're gonna take out that bookshelf and put this little bench in because I, because I really wanted to work that in there in this bill somewhere because I think it's cute. So we're gonna move that back because you really don't have to go behind there. There's nothing back there, so. We'll just do it like this and give him a little lamp. And give him a rug. And then I need to do a rug too in his bedroom as well. I think I like this rug better. It's not as um, yellowy. That's not even, probably not even a word, but anyway i will use it as a word so we're going to put these little toy boxes because it is a children's library and we will customize it to pink and blue one for boys one for girls and give him a tablet and some books on his table and then let's see what else can we put in here just trying a few things. All we need is picture. We'll put that in your bedroom so people won't think that you're all about yourself. Worry about yourself and give him some book, a stack, a stack of books in his bedroom. All right, then another pop up book because he seems to rather enjoy those. Then we'll give him some coffee or hot cocoa, whichever he prefers, because I like hot cocoa. I do not drink coffee. So we're gonna do some stuff for his wall. So we'll do a few things. Well, it looks like it's more than a few things actually. But we'll do this um, bulletin board and mobile and um, map and cork board, which you can't see because, well yes you can because I think, do I have? Hmm, that's a good question I have for myself. And I do. I'm gonna have to move that cork board because it's you can't see it. It's behind that bookshelf. Okay. But knowing me, I might forget that it's even there. But we're gonna put these flags across there, and then over on this side we'll put KK. And then we need some lights and a clock and a TV. So we'll put the lights over here. Move the clock. Move KK and put the clock over there. Give him his TV. And then we'll do that with the picture and the little shelf. And then we'll give him those hanging terrarium thingies next to the TV. So let's give him some light fixtures and ceiling fan and um, hanging shelves. So I'm gonna customize this light fixture and then we'll put several of those in. Because you need lighting, especially if you're reading. Okay. All right, so there we go with the lighting and stuff. All right, so let's see, what else can we work in here? I'll give him a little lamp and we're going to customize that lamp. There we go. And anything else? Oh, 
let's get him a welcome mat. That's cute. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do some shining. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, what is it called? Some sparkling. I'm just going to put some sparkles on, uh, on a few things. I always try not to go crazy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. But let's see. Okay, here I am with this wallpaper again. I told you I might end up changing it. So I put it back to the bookshelves. Hi, what's up? What's up, Doc? No, what's up, old bunny? <laughs> yes, I'm done, Doc. It's all finished. You're the best, old bunny. You really worked hard on it, too. That means a lot to me. Thank you. At first, I thought he was wearing pants because he looked orange at the bottom, but no. No, he's not wearing pants. But I like his colors. All right, Doc, I hope you like it. I should have probably moved those bookshelves and stuff off the back wall, but I did not, so there you have it. There you have it. Look at him opening his little book. Oh, that's so cute. Doc, you're adorable. You really are. I love it. All right, so we're done with Doc's house. Another one done, but we still have a long way to go. Like a very long way to go. But I might do a couple of videos where I try to do like multiple houses in one video, maybe give myself some kind of a time limit or something because I need to get to 30 houses so that I can decorate my villagers' homes and stuff. All right, so I'm just going to take some pictures. Let me zap myself up out of there and see if I can get a good angle. I hate that black on the sides. Like, seriously, can y'all cut that out? But like I said, I'm not good with these pictures, but it doesn't really matter. There's just a lot going on in his house with that with those walls. <laughs> but he wanted a books uh, library, so he has a library. Okay, all right. I'm just taking too many pictures. I need to get myself on up out of here. Okay, with the pictures, I'm trying to get a good picture. I, I try to get like most of the house in the frame, but sometimes it's hard. And there's my head. So let me just pick one of these pictures real quick. Probably this one because it doesn't have as much black on it. So we'll go with that one. And then we're done. So let's close this out so we can head back home. Not home. Back to the office. All right, Doc. I am beat. I'm heading back, sir. Okay. I will take care and I will head back eventually to come see you maybe 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 not I don't know hey Lottie I'm done it did it went really well Lottie thank you okay give me my 9,000 poke ma'am thank you I'll take it yes I'm finished for today no I'm not gonna work any longer I'm tired all right thank you for my clothes Lottie Okay, so I'm going to buy, am I, am I going to buy anything today? Well, I do want to buy these Casablanca lilies. And I think that's it. No, maybe this tea set. 15000 No, I think I'll pass. <laughs> that was a lot. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me as I designed Doc's house today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!